This is where my meter is. It's, I don't know if this is an old fashioned meter or what have you. It's not much in the way of uh, a meter reading. And down here we have the four cables coming out the bottom. The live is on the far right. So we have uh, attached the connector on there. And if we follow this down through my dirty cabinet, we go to here. Okay. And this is obviously the energy transmitting module. And that just sits there beside my fuse box. This is, I have a couple just to be complicated. That was fairly simple to install. It just clips around that and runs here. So then it wirelessly connects to this, which is showing how much energy I am using. I am hoping I've got it set up correctly. Um, it tends to flick through various different things. As you can see on the top right there, it's saying that it's 1757. We're using, that looks like 2. Point, oh, wait, hang on a second. It's changed to 1.241 kilowatts, and that's 12p per hour. And it does fluctuate. So then it's 24.1 degrees centigrade. There's an alarm. According to my wife, the alarm went off earlier. I don't know what that's for. Uh, there's a, a wireless connector, which is obviously for the uh, transmitter. And then there's 59%. Um, that might be battery life. I'm not sure. It was showing 61 earlier. So that is about that. That brings us over to this little doohickey here, which has a plug in it, and that plug leads to a red kettle. This looks a little tarnished there, since we washed it. We won't do that again in a hurry. Okay, so this is the plug monitoring monitor, and at the top of time there, at the top says uh, 1757. It says that the kettle is currently costing us <laughs> 766 pounds and 50 pence per year. It's quite difficult picking that up, the light here isn't great. And then the energy currently being used is zero because the kettle is not boiling. However, given the, <coughs> uh, the costings here, I reckon I haven't set this up quite as correctly as I should have. And will need to obviously show it a bit of attention in the future. Okay. It's quite easy to set, but obviously I've done it wrong. And the third bit of equipment has been installed here. Don't mind the giraffe, I'm not entirely sure where it came from, but every television should have one behind it. Uh, that's plugged directly into the wall, and coming out of that is a foregang. Uh, the plug beside that's a network home hub, or home plug device. So, in that foregang, is a skybox we have a dvd player a samsung tv mind the little grubby fingerprints uh, that will be my little junior child and google tv box <laughs> which is incredibly dusty i should have cleaned this before starting this video